Let's read Just Fishing with Grandma. I woke up this morning and thought, what a good day to go fishing. Oh my goodness, what a messy room. I asked my dad to take me fishing, but he couldn't take me today. He had to fix the car. So I asked my mom to take me fishing, but she couldn't. She had to take my little sister to the dentist. So I asked my grandpa to take me fishing. He couldn't take me today either. He had to weed the garden. I was mad. I guess nobody can take me fishing, I said. Grandma said, I'll take you fishing. So I said, cool, let's go, Grandma. We got out the fishing poles, but they were just a little tangled up. We need worms, Grandma, I said. Let's dig. We dug here, no worms. We dug there, no worms. Grandma said, I have an idea. We drove to the bait and tackle store. We bought a big container of worms. For a special treat, Grandma bought a new rod and reel for me, since the others were all messed up. Then we drove to Lake Pukatuki. We found a great place to fish. Grandma helped me put a worm on my hook. I know how, though. Grandma was just afraid I might stick myself with the hook. Our fishing lines kept getting tangled in the tree, in the tree branches. And besides, we weren't catching any fish. I noticed that all the fish were jumping way out in the middle of the lake. We need a canoe, Grandma, please, I said. Grandma rented a canoe. Finally, we were out with the big fish. Fish were jumping everywhere. I caught a big one, but I guess I wasn't holding on tight enough because that fish stole my new rod and reel. I didn't even cry, but Grandma let me use hers. Then a big dark cloud covered the sky. What does that mean? It started to rain. It rained hard, but we can't leave now, I said. We haven't caught any fish. By the time we paddled to shore, the rain had stopped, but we were both soaking wet. We went to the snack bar and ordered their special fish fillet sandwich with wiggly fries. And you know what? We had a great time fishing, just Grandma and me. The end. Thank you for reading along with me.